Hi, my name is Crystal. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. So glad you stopped by. And for all my uh, oldies, I guess you call it, <laughs> thank you for hanging in there through the really rough times of the beginning of all my videos. Um, I quickly wanted to give a shout out to uh, Crystal. Her name is Crystal as well. And she runs the, um, it's called Crystal Sparkle and Bling Boutique. And I will put that in the description box, okay, so that you can refer to it. Because for $5, you get this beautiful bracelet. And I wanted to show it off. It's got delicate pink pearl uh, that is a one's a little larger then we got some different style chain and then you come up to a uh, smaller pink excuse me smaller pink and you know it actually kind of goes back and forth it's nice it hangs nice I think it's really pretty love it so I got this and it there's kind of a set kind of thing if you want to or by separate but of course I won the set so that was earrings necklace and bracelet so here is the necklace okay I'm hoping it's showing as good as I can get it zoom in if you got that because it's beautiful it's a lot like the necklace with the beautiful pink pearl pearls I want to say almost gems I guess you call it and then a, a, another row of smaller ones and different size chain so it's thick and nice it's beautiful it's about 18 inch I believe I think that's 18 inch I'm not sure okay so wanted to show you the earrings now okay now I don't have them on because when I went into a coma uh, the people that were trying to rescue me uh, ripped my both my earring uh, ear holes off my ear so I got a very defective ear so I but later after all of that and I healed I, I went and got another one so I do have a hole here but I thought it might be a little nice to show you how it's presented when it comes you know in this beautiful little bag okay and I got two pairs she gave me an extra pair because I waited a while and she she's that kind of person really nice okay um, she added these little drop earrings aren't those beautiful if I knew the number I would tell you but she she slipped those in and you just can't beat that you know I definitely am gonna get more I just I'm, I'm I love them she goes on live and I have shared it on Facebook, guys. Now here's the other earrings. This is the ones I had originally picked. So the other one was an extra. Thank you, Crystal. Okay, so that, anyway, that was, and I think they'd show up really nice, okay? Um, I've got to get this fixed. I'm not sure how. If anybody knows how to fix something like that, let me know. I would love to have my ear back. <laughs> okay guys we're gonna do a, okay I said crystal sparkle bling boutique just last time then I'll put it in the description so we're done with this and let's get to crafting um, I wanted just to give a very quick tutorial on making a gnome keychain um, really cute fast to do a great gift who doesn't like a cute keychain I got my keys, have all kinds of things hanging on them. You ought to see it. It's kind of silly, but... <laughs> anyway, this is what I'm going to be making, okay? That is... Oops, so let's see. Get the... Make sure... I'm, there we go. She wanted it all white. This is going to my cousin. And she's waiting patiently because I'm having some trouble with delivery. I actually delivered one out to my sister-in-law and she hasn't gotten it yet. It's been like four weeks. So I wanted to wait and see what's going on, you know, before I send it because now I got to make Debbie another one and send it and hope it gets there. Um, but I got to make another one, you know, because I didn't have an, because it was made special for her. She wanted a certain color, just like my cousin wanted all white. And that's what I'll do for anybody. If you guys want one, just leave it in the comments, you know, your whatever, and, and then we'll get the address, and I'll make you one. 
Okay, so let's get to making it. Let me just give you a really quick tutorial. Okay, I'm going to move the camera down, not to be rude. Okay, uh, let's. I'm hoping I got my camera set up right. Please, I apologize. It does not quite go over everything, so I'll just lift it up. Now, I want you to see something, okay? I'm making a gnome, and out there, you know, everybody knows to make the hat, you cut um, a toilet paper off a toilet paper roll. You know, not that thick, but about that thick, because it's a little bigger hat. And that goes for a bigger, um, let's say, pom-pom, or I do these bottle gnomes, which I don't have anything handy right now. But what I'm telling you is go ahead, cut you a piece of this, okay, and make it a little thinner because it's a little bit fat for a little one like this, okay? You can see about what you want to do. And so what you're going to do is this actually opens real easy. There's like an arrow and it's glue. And I don't want to break this one apart actually because I'm going to be making a bottle gnome. I'm going to do a video on the bottle gnomes. People are wanting me to do that. So, But anyway, so se separate it. Cut. Then take a glue stick from, you know, Dollar Tree of course. Well. Um, well, you know, I don't have it handy, but it's a glue stick, okay? And all you do after you've cut it down, and then you just glue it back together again. You know, pretty, pretty simple, right? So glue stick, cut a little off, and you're looking for about that size. Let's see. Uh, it's like my thumb. Maybe that helps a little bit. See, it's a little bit loose, but close to that. That was kind of a weird way to try to describe it, I guess. I don't know whether holding it up helps or not. Oh, we got a message across the screen. I hate that. Okay, there we go. So, to make the keychain, my big fat belly is sticking out. I ate so much through the holidays. Terrible. Got to go on a major diet. Um, so, back to the keychain. What you're going to want to do is, and I always keep on hand pom-poms because I love pom-poms. I got pom-poms on a beautiful Valentine heart. Um, I think I put a video out on that one. But anyway, here's some pom-poms. So grab you one of your pom-poms and you want it to be um, close to this size. Okay. Uh, let's see pair it is. Okay. Um, everybody's probably seen the size of those hearts from Dollar Tree. Okay. Maybe that helps, right? Gives you a scale better. Yeah. Okay. So, I found me one already. And I always leave, when I do it, my pom-poms, I make sure to put a very, very long string on it. And that's for beads. Okay. So, get your pom-pom. And after you've made your little circle here, you then are going to have to cut your um, string, okay, that is wrapped around the toilet paper and makes a hat. The toilet paper roll, excuse me. This, there's so many tutorials out there, I'm sure y'all already know how to do it. So, I'll do like two of them and then I'll come back, okay? So, I'm just bling and magic, be back. Magic, I'm back. Now, make sure that's down far enough. I, I've really got to adjust that better, guys. Sorry. What I wanted to do to let you know how to determine uh, the length of the yarn that you want to, to make a hat with, right? Well, it is seven inches, okay? Um, what I do is take my string and find something. Actually, I found this actually from Dollar Tree again. Comes in a package, I think, of four or six. Can't remember. Anyway, grabbed it. It's a little bit longer, but, it, you know, that's okay because you trim the hat anyway at the end. So, But anyway, put, hold it like this, and all you're going to do is a simple, if I had a, there we go, a simple wrap. Okay? And you wrap, and you wrap, and you wrap. Okay? And once you're finished, you know, because this will be, that's how many there, six. And then this is six, so we've got 12 here. 
and it takes a few more than that to make this, okay? Because you want it really tight, too. Okay, and I'll be back like magic, and I'll show you how to put it on the paper roll. Oops. Pause, please. I didn't want to pop. Hi, magic back. Um, let me give you a little more about our craft today. We're making a keychain gnome. Um, and I showed you how to put this on. I, I think I did. If not, I've had a phone call. I've had a lot of interruptions there. So I don't, I'm thinking I didn't show you. So once you've cut your string, I, I explained that, I know that. Then what you do is you take your piece and all you do is fold it in half, leaving yourself with a loop. Okay? Then take that loop and your decided width of hat, you stick the loop of the yarn through the toilet paper roll, take your ends of the yarn from the outside, stick it in that loop. Stick it in that loop. Then what you're going to do is just simply pull. And you pull and you just kind of an up and down manner so that you can, and then you get it nice and snug so that it's right next to the other. Let's see, is that better? Boy, y'all need to let me know about my lighting if this is good or not. Okay, so after you do that and you complete it all the way around, then you're going to take your, ta your it looks like tassels, I guess, <laughs> but you take your yarn and what you're going to do is you're going to push, I didn't do it all the way, so that way you could see what's going on, because it gets all bunched up, you wouldn't see. Okay, so what you do after you've put them on, your knot is on the bottom, right? Knot is on the bottom, then take your yarn and simply push it through the center of what is now going to be a hat, okay? Now, if all of the yarn had been placed on here, you know that what you do is you kind of stick your finger in there and you work with it until you get your string here, or your yarn. I always do that, it's not string, yarn. In fact, I got some good Chanel yarn, by the way, <laughs> coming for me from Amazon. I've got some great Easter things I want to do. Okay, so once you've got it pulled through, right, then what you have is what looks like this, like a hat. See this here? And then it gets tied and then it becomes, a, we stuff it with um, cotton ball. I'll show you that. And before all that, though, the important thing is that tail of the pom-pom that you made. Okay? You stick that through as well, along with, you know, turning it inside out, like, and then you push this little string through, and it's in the middle. Okay? And it's going to sit right where this is attached to the pom-pom. Um, before doing so, before doing so, we have to stuff it with our cotton balls, okay? So I just bring it out just a little bit, that way I can work to do it. And also, you know, um, cotton balls, you know, you can take them apart and a lot of times it's a little easier when you're, especially when you're dealing with small things like this. They actually unroll. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. You probably do. But sometimes I do that just because it's a little easier to get in there. And it usually takes two cotton balls for this size. For the big size, I think it was four, four to five. But two should be enough for this one. So, anyway, so you push it through, etc. And you've got your tail here. Okay, and then what we'll do is we're going to tie it. Okay, and we tie it 
with an extra piece of your string and you come in lay it down well I should have actually waited I think to the end to put the cotton ball in I think your creator made a mistake huh but I think we there's no mistake in crafting I think that's what Corey said <laughs> okay uh, Corey she's a a creator and I'm trying to think of her channel uh, let's craft by Corey. I think that's how it is. Let's craft by Corey or with Corey. Anyway, she's very good. I can leave information in the description box too. Okay, so all I'm doing is simply tying. I'm going to tie a knot right towards the end of our little beanie. Okay, let's give it a nice tie. Get it nice and tight. And then make the knot just like that and then you would want to get your little snips here these are great by the way got them at dollar store and they work really well I'm super impressed with them I can get in there easily okay and naturally I'm gonna trim that top okay but now that I've got it sealed that's when I'm gonna stuff it I don't know why I did it the other way um, trying to I guess teach ya teach ya I'm getting used to doing it I'm trying okay stick that nice little cotton ball back in there that I pulled out I'm going to pull tight a little bit because we don't want to lose our center either because you know we got a nose to put on um, actually why can't I just reach in and get up there they are oh my okay this is a gnome's nose it's a half bead a half of a bead half okay that's what I use now you can use a small regular bead if you choose to but on Amazon you can get the half beads and that's what I use and that's gonna go right there okay are you seeing what's happening okay so let me take a little gander at how full or if it's not full enough the hat and you want to work around you know some of the strings will get out of whack and you just uh, put them back where they belong that was from me uh, sticking the cotton balls in there so just straighten it out you don't want the cotton ball to show so it's pretty manipulatable you just got to just keep working with it checking your hat making sure the cotton isn't sticking through that shouldn't be sticking through I only stuck one in there but Apparently today one is all my gnome wants. So let's get you on there. Let's see the hot glue gun is ready. Yes. No. Don't know why. Okay. Let me go ahead and pause and find out why my hot glue gun isn't working. <laughs> Be right back. Hi. Thank you for hanging in there as long as you have I'm sorry this needs to go down sorry about that there we go now we left right when I was gonna hot glue the little hat onto the little pom-pom um, I'm having one of them days <laughs> have y'all had days where things just go wrong I mean just weird stuff well that's my day today the uh, actual switch uh, to all the plugs had blown I guess and uh, I had to get on my hands and knees and dig and find it and then it was awful <laughs> but we got a glue gun on and another light so I'm happy um, seeing a few hairs there I want to make sure okay what I did is simply decide where of course we want to sit the sit the hat and the nose is going to go right there, kind of under it. So first, let's go ahead. I'm t I just simply tilt it a little bit. And I squirt. I still see hairs. Uh, I'm shedding or something. Uh, it's probably me. 
Okay, so get yourself some glue and just go to town in there because it's going straight down. And then this nose is going to sit right underneath it. Okay? Don't worry if any glue comes out. It's very fixable like I did there. I put a little too much on, I guess, there. But all you do is just take one of these rubber um, things for hot glue and it takes it right off. So we're nice and clean. But I'm holding it down because I'm wanting that to, you know, glue. Then what we're going to do is fluff it all up. Boy, I really squirted way too much glue. Oh, Crystal, it's one of them days, I'm telling you. I've made only seven of these. <laughs> and I'm making mistakes and everything else. It's just one of those days. Thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so in shame. Maybe I won't send this video, I don't know. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have had all that glue popping out of the hat. I don't normally do that. So I guess I'm just going to let it dry, figure it out. Teaching you how to do that. Isn't that silly of me? Okay, the next step, though, we're going to just move forward, and I will clean up that extra stuffage or the glue later, okay? Because we want to get to this point, which is to put on the beads. And then uh, you take the rest of the string that's left, okay, after the beads, and you simply put it in this little, you know, round circle. You know, stick your yarn through there, tie a good knot, boom, you're done. Okay, so beading time. Now, I don't know if you've watched my, or know how, or watched any of the videos. I did do one on beads, uh, beading. Um, what you do is you put um, yourself some scotch tape on the very end of the two strings, because there's two here, okay? And um, take your bead, which, where's my bead? My bead, my bead, I need my bead. Okay, one of them days. I'll be right back and we'll get a bead. Okay, I'm back. Oh, what a day today. Here's my beads. <laughs> anyway, you put that tape in there. It's kind of like making a needle. And then you just pull it on through. Boom, 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 boom. Give it a nice positioning on your hat. And so you don't want to go too far, but not far enough. So just right there because we're going to come up and of course cut that beanie top a little bit so it's shorter okay so that's good there and my other bee they're rolling away literally i swear okay the second bead sometimes about the third bead the little uh scotch tape needle wears out sometimes but i think i might get lucky if i can keep my beads from rolling away I am having one of them days. See, I knew it. Third bead. <laughs> oh, you little hard thing, you. See, I win. Never give up. Keep going. Keep going. There's no mistake in crafting, right? <laughs> okay. Yep, saw a little bit of the glue on the nose. And my gnome doesn't want glue on his nose. Okay. There, now we've got our beads, okay? Next step is simply putting on the chain, okay? I use that little needle. And I pull it down a little bit. And then I stick it through again. Well. <laughs> Yes, I'm going to stick it right in there. You see that? Look how uneasy I'm making this look. This is like child stuff, and I'm, I'm just having a day today. Oh, my goodness. I guess I'm going to have to get some more tape. I was really hoping just to slide by here, but I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah. 
Yeah, I see. They are very difficult today. Yes, but I think that I'm going to win. Yes, hey, we're going to win. Okay, all I did, as you've seen, was made a knot. Oops. And whoopsie, I go and pull that. Oh, we want this way down there. You want it close to your beads when you're tying that knot, okay? Because as you've seen, it'll slip up real easy, as it did. I don't know if I can do it again, if I can get that thing one more time. I want it good and secure because this is going to my sister-in-law who I already made one for and sent but she never got it so this is another one and she'll have a video of me making it too so. and my mess up and everything she's going to love it <laughs> okay so nice and tight we've got our three beads on go ahead and cut off your tail Boom. Okay, so you got yourself a keychain gnome. Ta-da! <laughs> and this one looks better. <laughs> but that's what they are. They really, they're not hard. I made a little card today. I'm just having a hard day. <laughs> all kinds of things are happening, but it's adorable. I'll make sure no cotton is showing and all that stuff. I'm probably going to put, a, you can put a little twine right around that little tie and I think that made it look really precious she wanted it all white so my cousin Shelly this is yours it's coming honey I'm just worried about the mail system I don't know if I mailed it incorrectly or what the deal is but it hasn't come back uh, so and my sister-in-law hasn't gotten it so I know what to do but anyway there you go that's how you make one isn't it adorable they all come out with their own little personalities and once I do a little trimming and get rid of some of the hot glue that oozed out, we'll be just fine. Okay, everybody? I think I put you through enough. <laughs> but you just work with this cotton so that it doesn't show. Put some cute little twine on it. Um, don't do what I do and put too much glue. That's what I'm for. <laughs> I guess it's why I make mistakes, you know, and, and that way, maybe you guys learn too, if you if it, you come into that situation, you know, don't panic and just keep going. And um, there's usually a good reason for the mistake. So um, we'll see what the reason was on this one. And I look forward to seeing you again. Um, I just got over the flu and stuff, so I, I don't know. It's but it's my first day kind of getting up and around and doing stuff so I hope you've enjoyed it I've enjoyed doing it um, <laughs> I don't know what else to say oh is that also by the way my mother owns a thrift, sh uh, thrift shop in Orlando and I got some great stuff the last time and I'm going back in a couple days so I was thinking about doing a haul there and showing you some of the cool stuff um, comment below if you're interested in that. Um, going to be doing some more Valentine things. Another post that'll be coming. I've already got them started. It's awesomely pretty. Um, and we will talk again. Uh, if you're digging me at all, digging, I'm using Unicorn Dust Design. She, Sammy is her name. She always says that. So if you're digging me, <laughs> please hit that subscribe button and the little bell to notify you when I upload a new uh, video. It's free. There's no charge or anything. Okay? Just want you to know, you know, to know that. If you're a crafter like me or enjoy doing crafts, I try to keep them really simple. I try to touch um, the, the... I'm 56, so I've been doing crafts and arts all my life, but we didn't have YouTube and internet and cell phones and all that stuff, right? So what I'm trying to do with my channel is try to bring back some of the folk art, which this farmhouse style name for it is, but it's really originate, originates from folk art. And it is a technique of using a paintbrush and making a certain stroke to patterns, uh, things like that. Um, 
like I'm using I used paper bags because I wanted to have something that everybody would have in their house if they wanted to do some craft they could use a paper bag and I made some really cute hearts and all that stuff but I try to keep it basic is what I'm trying to say you know use the thrift shops you know um, you'll get a better bargain there um, and uh, I've enjoyed it. I can't think of anything else to say. Oh, I'm loving uh, the jewelry crystal. Thank you very much. If you made it through the video, <laughs> I appreciate it if you did. Um, you're much more entertaining to watch than me. Um, okay, have a good day. And uh, I think I'm going to do another video and it'll probably be crazy like this one. Huh? Okay, bye for now.